Good morning, everyone. It's Rivkel. We're playing some more Pokemon Reborn, and we're going to be heading out. Uh, not sure exactly what's going on yet. Uh, last time Luna got kidnapped, and looks like we're fighting some meteor guys, or it's Radimus. Okay, so Radimus uh, put on disguise to fool Team Meteor. She's the right hat, right hat for the right job. Uh, of course, one might wonder why I had such an outfit in the first place. It makes me look suspicious. Now, quickly, follow me. Okay. Can't stay for long. Allow me to leave you with some clarity. They captured Luna. I lacked the foresight to teach Luna teleport. What if I could? More importantly, it would appear my gambit with Elias has not paid off. After all, a normal hypnosis only lasts so many turns. You think? Uh, it would take a fierce power... Uh, to play beyond those means, and we may only hope that no such thing exists. It appears that the logical conclusion has left him unmoved, so I can... Still, I can protect the next move. I suspect you will be somewhere around 7th Street in Reborn City. Okay. Uh, talk to someone who's familiar with the city's back, uh, back alley dealings. A gang leader should suffice. Do you know anyone like that? I'll beseech you to let me keep the Amethyst pendant a bit longer. Um, as we said before, not all is black or white, light and dark. Wrong is sometimes right in his own mind. Hey, you talk too much. I love this game, but they're very, very verbose. Like, it's well written, but sometimes the dialogue goes on a bit too long. And that's been a kind of consistent problem for most of the game. Um, which again, is probably not as big of a deal, but it's still kind of annoying. Um, come on. Uh, Tauros will let us warp back over here. There's one on each side, and they'll let us instantly go back and forth. We're gonna use that so we heal and set a new teleport spot. Um, and real quick here, I'm just gonna go ahead and... I don't know exactly what we're gonna be dealing with. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a relatively well-rounded team that's a little bit lower level so we can start leveling them up. Uh, I will also just say for the record, uh, we're gonna be doing some team remodeling after this video, probably. Um, it looks like this next area has a lot of new options coming up. Um, so I'm probably going to be getting rid of some Pokemon and adding some Pokemon because of that. Um, let's go ahead and grab, like, Cat, Dynamite, Tassara, Monkey, and Ashura. That is three fire types, which might not be great, but I guess we'll see. If it ends up being a problem, I'll adjust. I, we're going to be able to do other stuff on the way, I'm sure. Um, let's go ahead and grab a Razor Claw for Ashura. Charcoal. Mystic Water. Black Belt. And have something for Tassara here? I don't think so. Sure. I'm really not super worried right now.
There's the other wild Tauros there. Okay, so North Obsidia Ward, our gang is over here. If you ever need something from us, say the word. Oh, you're looking for 7th Street? Of course you're not going to find it if you look up here. 7th Street isn't just a normal street, you know. Probably noticed, but the street numbers in Reborn don't add up. In Peridot, there's 1st through 4th. Opal Bridge takes up 5th and 6th. But in Obsidia Ward, the next one is 8th. Here's the secret. 7th Street is the name of... Uh... Is the name of what is essentially Reborn's Black Market. Most people don't even know about it, but fortunately, we're not most people. We can definitely help you out. You'll find our secret entrance in an apartment between 3rd and Dahlia. This is why I wasn't super worried. We're going through mostly old areas right now, and I don't think we're going to be running into too much. At least not yet. Okay, so third, is it here? Crocus, Hydrangea, Third and Dahlia. Okay, so it is right here. Cool. Admittance is for apartment residents only. I've been informed that you're a new resident. Please go ahead. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this is like the Undercity. Some trainers, okay. So it looks like we're gonna probably have a couple trainer fights here. Should be fine. I don't know if this guy can actually hit us. Slackoth usually can't. Yeah. Mostly fighting in normal moves. So a ghost type is pretty safe. Let's see what else he's got. Tropius. Uh, flying grass. So we'll bring in Tassara here. Let's go ahead and freeze dry. Do four times damage. Fun fact, Tropius can use most of the HMs in the game. Uh, gumshoes. Uh, about half, actually. Basically, any of the ones that don't use water. Um... When I was doing runs previously, um, to quickly get through uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, I had a team that was... Uh, I used a Tropius and a Sharpedo. Sharpedo can use Surf, Dive, Waterfall, and I think I gave it Rock Smash. Uh, okay, we get to... Get some ability capsules by trading in our this is where we finally get to turn in our shards okay so i'm gonna double check how many shards we've got quick because there's something we need coming up here purple blue we've got plenty go ahead and get these ability capsules Three green, we should be good. Three purple shards. Can we just sit here and do this? I don't want too many here, but 
like, that was... I'm gonna walk away before we buy any more, because I don't need them necessarily. Oh, this is... Even in its death, I'll show you the true power of the Magma Gang. Okay, uh... We're getting jumped by Magma Gang. That makes sense. That also makes sense. Shame, uh, shame Water Spout just wrecks everything here. So there's a bunch of move tutors here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab or burn a revive here. So I don't know where the healers are yet. And I suspect we're gonna be getting into more fights. I'm also noticing another magma guy here, so we're gonna switch monkey into the front just to cover that. What's the hype on the level ups? Why not? Oh, you came looking for someone? You'll totally find her. You can do anything. Actually, wait a second. I didn't see a girl, but there was a weird guy wandering around a moment ago. I think he was going up towards the watering hole. Okay, this is... This is huge. Doom. Go ahead and switch dynamite in here. Hound Doom is dark fire. So we'll double kick. And a mag cargo. Sure, Monkey can finish this off. That was our last water spout, so we'll need to uh, heal or something there. Rarest wares around. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the TM. Because that's always good. I think I had some notes for this. Yes. Magnet powered. Uh, magnet powder. The other guys must be somewhere else. Remember the last time we dropped candy together? I got the watering hole right there. Move magician. Yeah, I know. Okay. Well, let's see how this goes. Woo bat. And 
and Swoobat. Uh, let's go ahead and bring Cat in for this. Crunch. And extreme speed. Is this an actual area? It is. I haven't found any water types to deal with yet. I'm gonna bring or leave Pat in front here. Let's go ahead and use a super potion quick. I assume we're gonna have to fight all three of these guys. Weird. You had to walk up to him. Tim and Joe? Do you have any more rare candy? Uh, probably. Axu? Outrage? So if I assume we're going to get hit with Dizzy Punch again, let's go ahead and swap into Vecho. That'll miss because Ghost type. And then we'll just toss a Flare Blitz. It looks like this is the watering hole, from what they're saying. So I'm going to avoid that for the time being, because I want to finish exploring. Pokemon Psychology? That looks like it's going to be another fight here. You look like fresh meat. Yeah. Great. Calcium. Okay. Bronzor. Well, we've only got one thing we can do, pretty much. And in this case, it's actually working out. Uh, sky Uppercut, huh? Pretty sure that's a two-turn move. So 
attacks the target with an uppercut thrown skyward with force. Is it not? <laughs> Am I making that up? Is that better than double kick? Might be. We've got a move retrainer now. If I'm wrong, we'll do. We'll fix it. Black glasses. That makes me so happy. <laughs> uh, black glasses are a bump for uh, dark type moves, which we have not had yet. Black glasses makes me happy. Tends to be a really early item in most Pokemon games. Hey, someone passed me another, yeah? Uh, okay. Miserable, loud, pathetic inventory. If this is really all you've got, you ought to be ashamed of your scruffy, rumped self. Don't call me again until you have something worth my time. Oh, it's you. Shouldn't known I'd see low-life scum like you lollygagging around down here. Don't look at me, criminal swine. You aren't worth my breath. Wow. Quite the mouth that one has. Perhaps, unfortunately, the street-savvy ones aren't the only ones with influence down here. There's always people like Crawberry. She pretends to be an upstanding citizen, but she plays the streets down here with her wealth. You recall the Pokemon we stole from her? Yeah? The one she purchased illegally down here. That's why I have no regrets in targeting her. Nonetheless, her attitude is insufferable. Yet, no one stands up to her. After all, they dare not risk her patronage. I'm thinking, though, perhaps we might be better- or we might better everyone's lives down here if we teach her a lesson. If you're interested, find me around her house. Okay. Uh, those of you who have been watching may find this, uh, may find these Pokemon familiar. Strict confidentiality policy. I ain't telling you where I got them, and I ain't telling you where I sell them. Uh, deals are secure. This is what we're waiting for. Um, this is why I was checking my shard count. Um, so these are all of the Pokemon, uh, no, that we found in Blackstein. There was like a whole puzzle sequence where we had to like heat up the cage and then freeze it to make it brittle and then break it. And Cyndaquil, we finally get another starter. So, hey you, come here. Who are you? I've been keeping my eye on this place for a while, but you don't seem like this guy's typical customer. I'm Arclight, DJ Arclight, to be specific. I run the nightclub up in the Obsidia Ward. You can just call me Ark. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that these Pokemon he's selling are stolen. I ain't about that. Most of his customers don't care a thing about Pokemon. They usually end up abusing them. These Pokemon are stolen. It might be practical to find their original owners. But I figure uh, we at least can get them to a good place. And I'm thinking you might be that good place. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to leave it up to you to buy the rest of these guys. Uh, he won't sell to me. I've raised hell here in the past. Once you've cleaned his stock, I'll bust in and clean his clock. Make sure this guy gets shut down for good. Sound like a plan? Oh, you already did? Uh, not bad. I owe you one. 
I can rest a bit easier knowing these Pokemon will be taken care of. Uh, might not be a bad idea to hang on to them just in case. As for that guy, I won't do anything out in the open, but let me put it this way. Next time you're around here, don't expect to see him again. Here's a little thank you from me. Lucky Egg. If you ever get into the nightclub, uh, hit me up. So, Lucky Egg is going to give us XP boost for a specific Pokemon. And with that, we just picked up a bunch of Pokemon. Um, some of which are, you know, really good. Uh, including a starter. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, we're probably going to be doing a little bit of rearranging after this. Um, the second thing that is worth noting here is that there are quests for a few of those to return them to their owners, which is why they mentioned you may want to keep a hold of them. So we're going to be getting uh, like several uh, Pokemon that I'm going to have to either set aside or if I want to keep them, breed them um, to get copies. Uh, economy down here works on a separate axis of supply and demand. One substance reigns supreme. Rare candy. Perhaps it's the best... Uh, perhaps it is best that someone like me, or like you, never does. Many of these fellows, they are already too addicted to the level up. Uh, okay. Crystal shards and heart scales. One is a highly reactive substance. Blah, 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 blah. Blast powder. Okay. We'll buy some more blast powder, sure. Dude, the Butterfree are so lackadaisical. They totally just morphed into that beam. Sure, buddy. Bruxish? Bruxish is actually an interesting Pokemon. I used it a bit in my uh, my last uh, Nuzlocke run since I was limited, and it's actually really fast, and it's a psychic type. Locked. It needs a fix. Locked. Green shard. Red shard. Got any rare, rare candy? Spare candy? Buy something. Okay, here's the other stuff that I was looking at. So we're going to grab a soul candle. Uh, we're going to grab two sticks. We've already got a light ball. I believe. Okay, let's head up here to... Wow. Pokemon Psychology. Greetings, young trainer. We've met before. Uh, we haven't met before. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a Pokemon Psychologist, a rare line of work and questionable morality. But nonetheless, it's my goal to help each Pokemon be the best it can be uh, for two heart scales. Gotcha. So that gives us an alternate alternative to mints, two heart scales, or we can go buy a mint. So at this point, we've pretty much covered everything except the watering hole. 
I don't want to get dragged into something quite yet. Oh. Can we not get through here? Oh. I had a feeling you were following me, but of all people, I never expected to see you down here, Rafe. Then again, I suppose this isn't the sort of place someone like me would choose to be either. I was getting supplies for a certain procedure, so it could, couldn't be helped. Of course, they wouldn't, or they would cross, they would be crossed with me if someone followed me back. Well, I must return post haste for Luna's sake. You're trying to help Luna? I see. In that case, there should be no problem. The entrance to our chamber is actually hidden down here, but I'll go ahead and leave the way open for you. It's just right outside. You won't be able to miss it. Huh. Chewing gum. This looks like where we're probably actually supposed to go, which means I don't want to go there yet. Probably all we're gonna get, unless there's a heart scale in here. Green shard and a stone plate. Glass powder, since we now can buy them, may as well. plate, maybe? Yep. A rare candy. Went in the key item pocket? Excuse me, pardon me. Uh, your rare candy went missing. Hey. Okay. I think I'd steal from you? I ain't stealing from you. Got a problem. Let's go. Okay. Arbok. I blinked for a second and didn't notice what it was, and that's probably actually a problem.
There we go. B sharp. That's a problem. It's not a two turn. Awesome. <laughs> Looked like an easy pick. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, we're gonna real quick pop back up here. Heal up. Oh, this is one. Er, this is what I missed. Another Foundation's data we might be able to do this, but I can't help but feel nervous. One miscalculation could cost not only the project, but all of our lives. I better check the measurements again. I'm going to save quick, just in case this goes into story. Don't worry, my darling. I won't leave you in this state long. Oh, street trash blew in. I'll have to ask you to leave. What? Okay, that was rude. Serena. Miss Magius. Um, yeah, we'll bring Cat in for this. <laughs> that was dumb. I feel slightly bad because that is the second time in a row that I've messed up and Cat has dropped. Even though you've won, if you're here to steal our research, I won't allow it. Work too hard to bring this to life to let it go again. Just look at him. Isn't he beautiful? It will take months to get this far, and even now all we have is the main body control system and framework. Uh, do you know what it is? No. Then could it be you're not here to steal it? Uh, perhaps you could be a blessing. Of course he's not complete. There's still so much more we have to do. I had some setbacks in development as a result of funding as run dry. Um, I can finish him, but if we can't get the right parts, we're at an impasse. They're Frankensteining a Pokemon. Okay. Um. Sure. Uh, well, he's perfectly in line with your skill set. First, find a Carvana. Okay. Let's gear a few more components and we should be able to create a perfect match. So, that's one of the things I'm going to need to do. Um. Trade my own Pokemon for a level up right now. You've got some rare candy. And we get a Piplup. So. 
so with that, we just picked or in like I said, we picked up a ton of stuff this video. Um namely Piplup Cyndaquil, um Abra. <laughs> Um, all of whom are on at least one, if not more, people's uh, request list. Now, we already have a lot of good fire Pokemon, and honestly, I'm not 100% sure where we're at on that, because Cyndaquil... Like, we still have a Tepig over here that I was going to replace Mr. Ed with, but Mr. Ed is just so good and we needed the coverage. Um... But we already have three fire Pokemon on us right now, even. And so I'm still a little up in the air on this. But Piplup will definitely be joining our team. Abra will definitely be joining our team. Um, and I may be looking into a few others as well, depending on what we're doing. And what we've got available. But that'll be for next time. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do in between videos here. Uh, so I'm going to train up a bunch of new Pokemon rename some Pokemon, and then we're going to be going to uh, breed uh, like four or five Pokemon that we just purchased so that we have copies of them. And we're going to grab three Pokemon for the uh, researcher that we just ran into. Uh, the Carvana is the first one. Uh, I'm actually going to have... I know what the other two are. So we're going to be grabbing uh, an Unpleasant and a Luxray as well. Uh, and that's going to give us uh, yet another Pokemon. So yeah. Lots of stuff here. Um, and I am looking forward to seeing how it all pans out. So. Hope you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.